So I'm currently, well, already checked out of my hotel here in London, getting ready to head to the airport so that I can head over to Rome. Actually, I'm gonna walk over here real quick so you can see this sign. It's pretty neat. Look behind me, boom. I came, I saw, can't say I quite conquered, but I learned a lot and I'm off. So the next destination, I think I already said it will be Rome. Now, this has been an interesting trip, not having an itinerary, having a very broad, I guess you can say itinerary, have a wish list, so to speak, of places I wanted to go. And then basically I go wherever I find cheap flights. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I don't know if you, if you can see, let me see. See my backpack. So I've basically been backpacking across Europe as a celebration of my 40th birthday. Something I wanted to do, do something a little different. Also, kind of entering a new chapter, wanted to enter some things slightly different than I've done before. Do things differently than I've done before. I've never traveled with a backpack only. I am notorious for having <laughs> multiple suitcases, mainly because my shoes are so big. If I pack more than one pair of shoes, that's like a carry-on bag. I wear a size 11, 11 and a half, depending on the shoe. So as you can imagine, you pack tennis shoes or dress shoes, they take up quite a bit of space. So on this trip, I'm actually <laughs> only wearing one pair of shoes, which has been quite interesting considering I'm doing a lot of walking. Feet sweat, so I, I bought some insoles from Dr. Scholes to make sure, are you gelling? So yeah, I'm gelling. But at the same time, somebody's smoking weed. I smell it. I'm not in Amsterdam, but somebody's getting lit. But at any rate, <laughs> I'm rocking one pair of shoes. Uh, living out of a backpack, which let me see, you might be able to see it a little bit better in the reflection. So it's not huge, it's not small either. I actually have a 60 liter bag, which is kind of big. It's not full though, because if it was full, it'd be like up to the back of my head. So I have additional space in the event I want to buy, you know, souvenirs or what have you, or buy sweaters. And that's why I bought this, so that I can bring things back to the States if I wanted to. But I want to end this video by, shout out to the horn guy, <laughs> challenging anybody who hasn't really pushed themselves. Pushed themselves out of their comfort zone, whatever that comfort zone might be. For me, the comfort zone was giving up control, giving up control of my itinerary. I really had like vague ideas of where I wanted to go. One place I definitely wanted to go was Rome. I had to see my brother over and his family over in Spain. Those are my only two definites. Everything else was and is, because the trip is still active. It was a bonus, it is a bonus. Uh, there's a website that I've used, a couple of websites that I'm going to create a video for and show you guys to kind of show you the tips and tricks I've used to really kind of travel on a budget. It's not like a skeleton budget. I'm not staying in hostels. I'm not pushing myself that much. If I was traveling with someone, I might do a hostel, but I'm 40. I'm not about to just post up in a hostel and make new young friends. I might do it one day, but on this trip, it ain't happening. Matter of fact, on this trip, I'm doing some budgeting, some balling, if you will. And what I mean by that is upgrading maybe to first class on international flights. Uh, th little things like that, you know, because I, I started to say you, but I still want to enjoy the trip uh, and not feel like I'm on a skeleton budget, which is also pushing me out of my comfort zone because I'm a frugal person by nature. So I'm always looking at ways to save money. Like, oh, you know, that cost 10. We could have got it for eight. You know, but I'm like, you really only live once and as you know people say YOLO it sounds somewhat cliche but it's true you only live once and in this world in this lifetime you have to celebrate it and enjoy it so treat yourself to the little extras now with that that doesn't mean every day is an extra all day is an extra <laughs> but you have to be able to treat yourself to the extras and Truly enjoy life. I love these taxis out here. It's pretty cool. As a matter of fact, I'm going to catch a taxi to the train station to go to the airport, which that 
is a little bit of a, a balling situation, so to speak, because a taxi, though it's not super expensive, I think to go where I'm going is going to cost me about 10 to 15 euros, which is not, it's not a lot. But I can take the train for like 2 euros, 3 euros, whatever it is. So, you know, big difference. So even something like that, the, the taxes are really cool. They're really nice. Um, you have to allow yourself to somewhat splurge. And as you can see, I'm, take, I'm going to take a taxi, not a limo. So you have to keep it all in balance. I might take a limo at some point on this trip. I don't know. Because I'm only in the first, not even full week of my trip, actually. I think I'm on like day five, something like that. So as I get closer to the end of my trip and I see what my budget looks like, then I'll maybe splurge a little bit more on some extras and things like that. But until the next video, push yourself, challenge yourself, and enjoy your new self. On that note, I got a plan to catch. I'm out.